Hi guys! So I wanted to do a quick update on what's been happening the last couple weeks with us. First of all, um, the first couple weeks coming home with Riley was kind of hard for me emotionally. Um, I really was so happy that she was here, but I was still kind of sad over the fact that I didn't get the labor and delivery that I wanted. And I was also just kind of in that little bit of a baby blues from not being pregnant anymore. I had that real sense of emptiness. Um, so my conclusion is just that I just am meant to have babies because I absolutely love being pregnant and I can't wait to have another one and have that experience again. And as much as I love having her here, um, I did miss very much having her um, inside of me. So. Um, that will be in another couple years though. I want to really be able to enjoy my pregnancy like I did with Riley. So, Being a mom to two children now has just been awesome. Um, Austin is such a big help with Riley and I just couldn't have asked for two better children. Um, the, the biggest thing for us right now is just being able to get ready, for me anyways, being able to get ready during the like to go out anywhere or to be able to get my makeup on or get dressed or anything because she absolutely hates being put down. So um, it's also really hard to get things like housework done when um, I can't, I literally can't put her down for more than five minutes. So um, besides that, my incision is healing really well. Um, I still have pain all along the lower side of my belly. Uh, I'm not really sure what it is, but the doctor said it doesn't sound like it's infected, so uh, we're just still keeping an eye on it. Um, breastfeeding is going amazing. I love the bonding time having with her and knowing that I'm the one that's providing her with the nutrients to make her grow, and she definitely is growing. Um, most of all, I love the convenience of breastfeeding. Um, not only is it extremely healthy for the baby but um, I never have to worry about making bottles or making sure the milk's still good or having enough formula when I go out or anything like that. I can go whenever, wherever I want um, and have all the milk that I need. So um, I've done breastfeeding in the car, in the mall, um, at the grocery store, uh, while Austin's at his swimming lessons, everywhere. So. Um, that's just really like the biggest thing for me is just that I love the bonding time and I love how convenient it is that I don't have to worry about um, making bottles or having her cry while I'm making a bottle. I just can feed her right away. June the 18th, I go for my eight week checkup um, and Riley will also be getting her two month shots there too. So I was told by my doctor not to work out and not to carry anything heavier than Riley herself, not even in her car seat, um, until my eight week update, or until my eight week appointment, sorry. And um, although a lot of people don't listen to that, uh, I have been, um, just for the fact that I don't want anything to go wrong. Obviously I didn't want any of my stitches in the inside to rip out or anything to happen, so. And I haven't really been put in a situation where I've had to carry anything heavier than her, so um, that's been going really well. Um, I've been doing a lot of meal planning and a lot of organizing lately. Um, not necessarily with um, housework because it's hard to do a lot of housework when I'm constantly carrying her, but um, just eating really healthy, making sure that uh, I'm getting everything done on time. And as soon as the doctor gives me a go ahead at my eight week appointment, I will be doing um, more exercising and updates on that as well. Uh, trying to lose these last few pounds from the pregnancy and just tighten everything back up. So that's pretty much it with me. Um, an update on Riley. She is a perfect baby and she is the most beautiful baby in the whole world. And I know that all parents say that, but I just love her to death. Um, we are feeding on demand still, so she feeds usually every three hours or so during the day, um, but sleeps mostly through the night. She will sleep anywhere between five and seven hours straight, um, so that's really good. I've been getting a lot of sleep lately. 
Um, we did have a hospital visit on the 21st of May. She woke up at around 8 o'clock at night um, and just had this really weird barking cough and a stuffy nose and I took her temperature and her fever was 101.5 Fahrenheit. So um, I called the hospital and they told me to bring her in right away. Uh, I did take her to the closest hospital to us and after about three hours of waiting there and getting checked out, they transferred us both by ambulance to the children's hospital where she was born at. And they didn't give me an exact answer of what exactly it was. They said it could have been um, like allergy, something just got caught in her nose. Um, it could be the beginning of croup or the beginning of a cold. Now Eric also had a cold um, that week as well, so it could have explained that. But um, they sent me home just saying that if it got worse, then to come back. So um, she does wake up stuffy still in the morning, but I'm kind of weeding things out through the bedroom that might be causing any kind of um, stuffiness or allergic reaction. So anything like feather pillows and stuff like that. So um, still haven't figured out exactly what it is, but um, yeah, we're, I guess we'll just take it day by day. So at that appointment at the hospital, she weighed eight pounds and six ounces. So she's definitely growing. Uh, she's still co-sleeping with me. She has her little cot, but lately in the last week, which I'm assuming is from her six to eight week growth spurt, um, she's been wanting to sleep right beside me and nursing uh, more often during the night than usual. So, um, oh, she's making noises. Um, she's really gassy, which could explain why she hates being put down. Um, as of right now, I do not give her any gripe water. I do baby massage, um, and I comfort feed her when she's not feeling well. Um, she's no normally just gassy around uh, later afternoon, like dinner time, until she goes to sleep around 8 or 9 at night. So, um... And yeah, the only thing that I really do that keeps her calm is just nursing her. So that seems to ease her pain. And um, it's, again, great bonding time between her and I. Uh, baby wearing is the most amazing thing I've ever seen and heard and done in my entire life. Um, obviously, she right now is in her little baby Catan and she's sleeping. Um, and it just gives me that freedom to be able to do a couple things in the house. I can't do a lot of bending or anything because, um, you know, she, I don't want her to fall out. But, um, yeah, so that's definitely uh, an awesome thing that I love doing. And it gives me that sense of closeness that I had when I was pregnant with her. So um, I really, really enjoy that. She is starting to smile and coo all the time. It's so cute. Um, she now has finally outgrown her newborn clothes, not width-wise because she's really skinny, but lengthwise. She's gotten so long, it's crazy. Um, cloth diapering is also going great. Uh, the first few weeks, probably the first month I would say, the last two weeks we've been doing more cloth diapers, but the first month we did use disposables. Um, her cloth diapers were not small enough. Even the newborn size that I had didn't get tight enough around her legs. Her legs were so super skinny that um, they would just leak right out. So now that she's, now that she's starting to chunk up a bit, um, we've been using her cloth diapers and it's been going amazing. Um, so, yeah, um, I change her every hour in her newborn diapers. Um, she seems to be a very heavy wetter during the day, um, and that's just for the newborn ones, but yesterday we started using her Grovia stash, and, um, that stash is the one that I have in my video, and they're amazing. I love them. They are... <laughs> They are absolutely huge on her right now, but no leaking, no nothing, and I can go about two hours. Now, uh, I don't want to go any longer than two hours, even though they could probably hold a lot more. Um, and I, obviously, unless she's sleeping, then I let her just sleep till whenever she wakes up, and then I change her. Um, and I obviously change her right away as soon as she poos. But um, 
it just makes me sad to think that, you know, I was going like two or three hours, sometimes three and a half hours with the disposables. Um, and then to switch over to cloth, it's so different, um, having to change for every hour to two hours. And um, a lot of people would say, well, you know, that's crazy, like that's so much time during your day changing diapers and stuff. But when you really break it down and think about it, I feel so guilty that she's been, that she went her first month going three hours in a disposable diaper compared to an hour in a cloth diaper. Like, you know, she was sitting in pee for that long and after an hour, those cloth diapers, I mean, they are soaked, right? Like, the insert is just drenched. So, I mean, I don't know. It just seems so gross to me that, you know, people let their kids sit in the diaper for so long. But anyway, so that's that's going really well for us and um, I'm glad that I can change her pretty much every time she gets wet. Um, so, yeah. Um, I love sunning the diapers to make them nice and white. It saves on my hydro and it makes them look absolutely brand new. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, a lot of fun. Pretty much that's it for the last six weeks. Um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. So, I will see you guys soon. I'll add some clips and pictures at the end of the video. So, I hope you guys enjoy. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Do you like having your tummy rubbed? <laughs>